Both viewpoints clashed once again today. The Johnson County Democratic Party and Kansas Democrats met in Overland Park to protest the reversal of Roe v. Wade. They're calling on Kansans to vote against the value of them both amendment on August 2nd. KSHB 41 News reporter John Kim spoke with Democrats and Republicans on both sides of the state line for their stance. This is it. It's over. We've got to fight it. We've got to get it back. Cassie Woolworth with the Johnson County Democratic Women says the decision to reverse Roe versus Wade felt like a kick in the gut. You've made me a second class citizen by taking my decision making power out of my hands and giving it to somebody else. Nowhere else is it taken away after 50 years. Woolworth is encouraging like minded Kansans today to vote against the value them both amendment on August 2nd. It's an amendment to the Kansas State Constitution that could lead to limitations or a ban on abortions in Kansas. It's so easy, especially right now, to feel defeated. This feels so final and like there's nothing that you can do. And so you really have to, to grab the bull by the horns and do everything in your power. I sat down with Michael Kuckelman, chairman of the Kansas Republican Party. He tells me the statement that this amendment would ban all abortions in Kansas is simply not true. To vote yes would mean Kansans can come together to discuss and put into law, the agreed upon limitations on the procedure. Trust in your fellow Kansan. Use your voice. Persuade people to your way of thinking. But let's not ask for government to decide everything for us because we're afraid if we let ourselves decide it, we'll get it wrong. As an anti-abortion advocate, he believes regulations like parental notification, sanitation of abortion clinics, and restrictions on second and third trimester abortions are vital. But he's open to public discussions. You'd have to pass laws, and as you know, there's always public hearing for every law that's passed in the state of Kansas. I asked Nola Wood, the vice chair of the Jackson County Republican Committee, what her response is to those who are afraid of no exceptions in cases of abuse or health complications. The uh, irony for me is that um, there are many untold stories of wonderful people who were born out of very tragic and unfortunate circumstances and uh, we want to protect and honor each human life. She believes making abortion illegal would also further deter perpetrators from exploiting or abusing young women. Jian Kim, KSHB 41 News.